It's very interesting looking. It does look interesting, doesn't mm. it? And it's, it's very pretty and neatly done. Very, very pretty. Get some rabbit mm. pie. It's good. Oh, absolutely delicious. What else is in there? There's a sort of herbs stuffing there, isn't there, as well? The amazing thing about this dish is the rabbit is so moist. The whole... So often dry in the middle, isn't exactly it? Exactly yeah. right. No, it's brilliant. Also very nice. It's not too acidic. That little leak around the edge? Chives and leeks. Yeah. Chives and leeks. So good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. The reason I like this dish so much is because it's actually quite simple. It's homely, but it's elegant and sophisticated at the same time. I mean, it's really clever to pull off basically a sausage roll and piccalilli and make it such a banquet dish. I mean, this is my type of cooking. You know, it's just elegant, beautiful, satisfying. I would absolutely love to see something like this because it's so pretty. When it goes down, it lifts your heart. And the person cooking it really understands the requirements for a banquet because this dish can easily be made for a large number of people. Next up, it's Aidan and the chance to prove his roasted and poached chicken has got what it takes to make it to the banquet. Ian Marcus has given me a good few pointers to uh, improve my dish. Yeah, I'm really excited about what, what, what I'm going to bring to the table today. But Lisa's not sure that Aidan's choice is suitable. My starter looks a little bit more summery than Aidan's and his is more complicated than mine. Um, so I'll be interested to see what, what the judges think of it. Aidan's dish involves a variety of cooking techniques, but it seems the pressure of delivering to perfection is already getting to him. Are you getting on, then? Yeah, I've lost an egg. Huh? Nerves are making him clumsy, and a plaster on his hand keeps catching the yolk as he tries to make his egg yolk coffee. He tries another, and it happens again. Luckily, the last one works, but he's got to focus as he needs to plate up. He starts with an onion mousse, lays his poached and roasted chicken, and finishes with an onion puree and the egg yolk confit. Right, let's get out, guys, quickly while it's still hot. Come on, quick. Absolutely gutted. So angry with myself. I'm getting nervous and my plaster burst in my egg yolks. But the judges are oblivious to Aidan's traumas and only concerned with what's put down in front of them. Box combs! Very, eggs, very small you? ones. Very rarely do you see those in uh, British cooking. OK, what's the crunchy little bit? That'll be some kind of... Um... Skin. I think, this is, well, I think what egg. we've got here is a little hymn to the chicken. It's an egg yolk. Isn't that clever? And you've got these uh, red vein sorrel leaves, which have suddenly become uh, as ubiquitous and fashionable as pea shoots were a couple of years ago. What's this? Oh. Um, is it celeriac or what? No, no. onion. Onion, no. isn't it? So there's those little breadcrumbs on top of it. Yeah, I think it's too showy-offy. When the cloche came off, you used to see a sea of beige. I think the chef has clearly you know, found a chicken that they think is absolutely wonderful, probably gone to great lengths to find. I think the most important thing about this dish is this is a dish for the chef himself rather than for the person eating it. It's, it's all too complicated and not very nice. I think it's completely unsuitable for an occasion like this. So I don't think it's a great starter and... I really hope it doesn't go any further as a dish. But I think it'll be very interesting to see how the rest of the menu actually pans out on this one.